Charles Dawson Dawes Butler was an American actor who specialized in voicing animated films and television series. He worked mostly for the Hanna-Barbera Animation Production Company where he originated the voices of many familiar characters, including Yogi Bear, Quick Draw McGraw, Snag Lepus, and Huckleberry Hound. Early life and career, Dawes Butler was born on November 16, 1916 in Toledo, Ohio, the only child of Ruth Butler and Charles Allen Butler. The family later moved from Ohio to Oak Park, Illinois, where Butler got interested in impersonating people. In 1935, the future voice master started as an impressionist, entering multiple amateur contests and winning most of them. He had entered them, not with the intention of showing his talent but as a personal challenge to overcome his shyness, with success. Nonetheless, Butler won professional engagements at vaudeville theaters. Later he teamed up with fellow performers Jack Lavin and Willard Ovitz to form the comedy trio The Three Short Waves. The team played in theaters, radio and nightclubs, generating positive reviews from regional critics and audiences. They dissolved when in 1941, Dawes Butler joined the U.S. Navy as America entered World War II. Sometime after, he met his wife Mittis during a wartime function at North Carolina. His first voice work for an animated character came in 1948 in the animated short Short Snorts on Sports, which was produced by Screen Gems. That same year at MGM, Tex Avery hired Butler to provide the voice of a British wolf on Little Rural Riding Hood and also to narrate several of his cartoons. Throughout the late 1940s and mid-1950s, he had roles in many Avery-directed cartoons. The Fox in Outfoxed, the narrator in The Cuckoo Clock, The Cobbler in The Peachy Cobbler, Mr. Thieves in Droopy's Double Trouble, Mr. The Magician in Magical Maestro, John the Cab and John the B-29 Bomber in One Cab's Family and Little Johnny Jet and Maxie in The Legend of Rocker by Point. Starting with The Three Little Pups, Butler provided the voice for a nameless wolf that spoke in a southern accent and whistled all the time. This character also appeared in Sheep Wrecked, Billy Boy and many more cartoons. While at MGM, Avery wanted Butler to try to do the voice of Droopy, at a time when Bill Thompson had been unavailable due to radio engagements. Instead, Butler recommended Don Messick, another actor and Butler's lifelong friend, who could imitate Thompson. Thus Messick voiced Droopy in several shorts. In 1949, Butler landed a role in a televised puppet show created by former Warner Brothers cartoon director Bob Clampett called Time for Beanie. Butler was teamed up with Stan Freberg, and together they did all the voices of the puppets. Butler voiced Beanie Boy and Captain Huffenpuff. Freberg voiced Cecil and Dishonest John. An entire stable of recurring characters was seen. The show's writers were Charles Shows and Lloyd Turner, whose dependably funny dialogue was still always at the mercy of Butler's and Freberg's ad-libs. Time for Beanie ran from 1949 to 1954 and won several Emmy Awards. Butler briefly turned his attention to writing and voicing several TV commercials. In the 1950s, Stan Freberg asked him to help him write comedy skits for his Capitol Records albums. Their first collaboration, St. George and the Dragon Net, was the first comedy record to sell over one million copies. Freberg was more of a satirist who did song parodies, but the bulk of his dialogue routines were co-written by and co-starred Butler. He teamed up again with Freberg and actress June Foray in a CBS radio series, The Stan Freberg Show, which ran from July to October 1957 as a summer replacement for Jack Benny's program. Freberg's box set, Tip of the Freberg chronicles every aspect of Freberg's career except the cartoon voiceover work, and it showcases his career with Dawes Butler. In Mr. Magoo, the UPA theatrical animated short series for Columbia Pictures, Butler played Magoo's nephew Waldo. He provided the voices of many nameless Walter Lance characters for theatrical shorts later seen on the Woody Woodpecker program. His most notable characters were the penguin Chilly Willy and his sidekick Smidley a southern-speaking dog. In 1957, after MGM had closed down their animation division, producers William Hanna and Joseph Barbera quickly formed their own company, and Dawes Butler and Don Messick were on hand to provide voices. The first, 
The Rough and Ready Show, with Butler voicing Ready, set the formula for the rest of the series of cartoons that the two would helm until the mid-1960s. He played the title roles in The Huckleberry Hound Show, The Quick Draw McGraw Show and The Yogi Bear Show, as well as a variety of other characters. Characters The characters with voices by Butler from 1957 to 1978 included, Bring em Back Alive Clive, Aesop's Son, Fibber Fox and Alfie Gator, Ali Gator, Orgy Doggy, Barber Louie, Barney Rubble, Big Gruesome, Bingo, Brutus the Lion, Capun Crunch, Captain Skyhook, Chilly Willy, Coaxwell, Colonel Pot Shot, Dixie Mouse, Elroy Jets and Fibber Fox Frederick Flintstone, Gabby Gator, Gelationist Giant from the Phantom Tollbooth, Goonie the Goonie Bird Albatross, Hair Bear, Henry Orbit, Hokey Wolf, Huckleberry Hound, Hustle, Jonathan Wellington Mudsy Mudlemore, Carlos K. Kren Kelbean, Lampsy, Lippy the Lion, Loopy de Loop, Louie, Maxie the Polar Bear. Mr. Jinx Peter Perfect, Peter Potamus, Pug, Quick Draw McGraw, Quisp, Raggedy Andy, Red Max, Reddy the Dog, Rock Slag, Rufus Roof Cut, The Weatherman, The Census Taker, The Terrible Trivium and The Gelatinous Giant from the Phantom Tall Booth Sergeant Blast, Smidley the Dog, Snaglepus, Super Snooper and Blabbermouse, Spike the Bulldog, Snoopy, Stick'em Duke, Undercover Elephant, Terrible Trivium from the Phantom Tall Booth, Weatherman from the Phantom Tall Booth, Wally Gator, Wolf, Yahari, Yogi Bear, Butler would voice most of these characters for many decades, in both TV shows and in some commercials. The breakfast cereal mascot Capon Crunch became an icon of sorts on Saturday morning TV through many commercials produced by Jay Ward. Butler played Capon from the 1960s to the 1980s. He based the voice on that of character actor Charles Butterworth. In 1961, while Mel Blanc was recovering from a motor vehicle accident, Dawes Butler replaced him to voice Barney Rubble in five episodes of The Flintstones. In Wacky Races, Butler provided the voices for a number of the races, Rock Slag, Big Gruesome, The Red Max, Sergeant Blast, Peter Perfect, and Rufus Roof Cut. He voiced a penguin and a turtle in the movie Mary Poppins, his only known work for Disney. Along with Stan Freberg, Paul Fries and June Foray, Butler also provided voices for countless children's records featuring recreations of several successful Disney cartoons and films. Inspirations Butler based some of his voices on popular celebrities of the day. Yogi Bear began as an Art Carney impression. Butler had done a similar voice in several of Robert McKimpson's films at Warner Brothers and Stan Freberg's comedy record The Honey Earthers. However, Butler soon changed Yogi's voice, making it much deeper and more sing-songy, thus making it a more original voice. Hokey Wolf began as an impression of Phil Silvers, and Snaglepus as Bert La. In fact, when Snaglepus began appearing in commercials for Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies in 1961, La threatened to sue Butler for stealing his voice. As part of the settlement, the disclaimer Snaglepus voice by Dawes Butler was required to appear on each commercial, making him the only voice actor ever to receive one in an animated TV commercial. Butler redesigned these voices, making them his own inventions. Huckleberry Hound was inspired many years earlier, in 1945, by a North Carolina neighbor of Dawes' wife's family, and he had in fact been using that voice for a long time, for Avery's laid-back Wolf and Lance Midley. Later life, in the 1970s, he was the voice of Hair Bear on Help. It's the Hair Bear Bunch. And a few characters in minor cartoons such as CB Bears. On Laugh Olympics, Butler was virtually the entire Yogi Yahari team. He also played the title character in The Funky Phantom, as well as Louie and Pug on The Pink Panther Show. Butler remained somewhat low-key in the 1970s and 1980s until a revival of the Jetsons and Hanna-Barbera's crossover series Yogi's Treasure Hunt, both in 1985. Also in 1983, he voiced the title character, Wacky Wall Walker in Deck the Halls with Wacky Walls. In 1975, Butler began an acting workshop which spawned such talents as Nancy Cartwright, Corey Burton, Joe Bevilacqua, Bill Farmer, Pat Paris, Tony Pope, Linda Gary, Bob Bergen, Mona Marshall, Joey Cameron, 
writer L. Cress and many more. In the year of his death, The Good, The Bad, and Huckleberry Hound was released, a tour de force featuring most of his classic early characters. Personal life and death, he was married to Mitis Martin from 1943 to 1988, whom he had met and married while he was in the United States Navy during World War II. They had four sons, David Butler, Don Butler, Paul Butler and Charles Butler. Butler died from a heart attack on May 18, 1988. Many of his roles were assumed by Greg Burson, who had been personally trained by Butler. Legacy Dawes Butler trained many voice actors including Nancy Cartwright, Corey Burton, Bill Farmer, Bob Bergen, Joe Bevilacqua, Greg Burson, Mona Marshall and Joey Cameron. Butler's voice and scripts were a frequent part of Bevilacqua's now defunct XM show. Bevilacqua also wrote Butler's official biography, published by Bear Manor Media. A new book of cartoon scripts written by Dawes Butler and Joe Bevilacqua, Uncle Dunkle and Donnie, Fractured Fables, was scheduled for publication in the fall of 2009. A four-volume, for a one-half-hour audio set of Uncle Dunkle and Donnie was to be released simultaneously with Bevilacqua performing all 97 characters in 35 stories. Butler also trained Hal Rail, who ultimately determined that his best-known character of Doyle Cleverlob from Galaxy High School should sound like Elroy Jetson after he finished puberty. Filmography equals animated films and theatrical shorts equals. In popular culture, the video Dawes Butler, Voice Magician is a 1987 documentary of Butler's career from his pre-MGM days on up through his teaming with Freberg in 1949 and the teaming with Don Messick in 1957. It was originally seen as a PBS Pledge Drive special. Former Butler protege Joe Bevilacqua used to host a radio series on XM satellite radio Sonic Theatre channel called the Comedy O Rama Hour, which features a regular segment called What the Butler Wrote Scenes from the Dawes Butler Workshop with rare scripts of Dawes performed by his students, including Nancy Cartwright, and rare recordings of Dawes himself. Bevilacqua has also co authored the authorized biography book Dawes Butler, Characters Actor and edited the book Scenes for Actors and Voices written by Dawes Butler, both published by Bear Manor Media. Butler once appeared as a contestant on Groucho Marx's You Bet Your Life. The studio audience did not recognize him until he began doing Huckleberry Hound's voice. Butler and his partner split the top prize of $10,000. In 1985, Dawes Butler was interviewed about his career on Dr. Demento's radio show. References External links Official website, A Rare Dramatic Role by Butler is Toby Dammit in Poe's story Never Bet the Devil Your Head, comedy o -rama and scenes from the Dawes Butler Workshop, Dawes Butler at the Internet Movie Database, Dawes Butler at Find a Grave.